Hi guys, just wanted to make a quick video about the advantages and disadvantages of using the medical pouch versus the medical crate and the ammo pouch versus the ammo crate with the medic and support classes respectively. So first off, I think as a medic you should always run with the bandage pouch and this is why. The bandage pouch, when you throw it and it hits somebody, will start healing them even if they are under fire or suppressed, which the crate doesn't. If you throw a pouch on the ground and run over it yourself, it will start healing you while you're under fire or you're suppressed, which the medic crate doesn't. Also, you will be healing as you're on the run. So, you get shot, you turn around to run away, you throw a bandage pouch down, you pick it up, you start healing as you're running away. With the medic crate, you've got to stay near it. Now, the advantage of the medic crate is that it gives you an area of effect. So, as you plonk it down, it will heal not only yourself, but anybody around you. And you can get lots of points for that. So that's good, but you've got to stay in one place. And often the reason why you're wounded is someone's firing at you, so you don't want to stay in one place. So, as a medic, I believe you should always use the bandage pouch because it has that instant healing effect. And you can still get lots of points because lots of people need healing. And remember, you can throw bandage pouches to people when they're quite a long way away to get them healing, to earn points, to help your squad mates, to help your teammates, and to be better at the battlefield one. So as you're a medic, go with the bandage pouch, not the bandage crate, not the medic crate. Now, when you're playing support, I think it's different. Because they do have the ammo crate and they do have the ammo pouch, and they work in very similar ways. However, I think inherently when you need ammunition, you generally are okay to stop and wait for it. Um, whereas the problem is if you're using the ammo pouch, you're constantly throwing it to people and it gets a little bit ugh, because as soon as they fired their gun, they, you know, they can accept an am ammo pouch and so you're like R1, you're throwing it, but they might not need much ammunition so you don't get that much many points. Where with, with an ammo crate, um, you throw it down and you start getting your ammo back, especially say you're in a situation where you run around a corner and there's somebody over behind a wall or something and they've peeked you and you see them, so you run back around the corner and you throw a grenade at them. Just throw a crate down and immediately you're starting to regenerate that that um, grenade and you can still be aiming at them and, and, and not worrying about having to pick up an ammo pouch. And the same goes with uh, resupplying your teammates as well. Now again, you can get loads and loads of points with ammo crates. Just put them down near a choke point in any map. And as people are throwing their grenades, using their uh, machine guns and their rifles, you will be resupplying them and get lots of lots of ammo. But there we go. Hope that maybe clears things up for you. If you're running a support, use the ammo crate, not the ammo pouch. But if you're running as medic, use the bandage pouch or the, or the medic pouch rather than the crate because the bandage pouch will heal people and yourself while you're under fire or suppressed and you can run away while it's working. Whereas when you're playing as a uh, support and you then tend to need ammo, you tend to be okay with staying where you are holding down the position or around a corner and the ammo crate works better for that. Okay, so hope that's been helpful. Put your ideas down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same. Press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you on the battlefield.